If you're in the middle of planning a wedding, maybe you got engaged last Valentine's Day, and you're considering a destination ceremony, we've got some local destinations that you may want to check out, actually worldwide. Yeah. So let's learn some more. And it won't break the bank. So yes. travel expert Amy Jarzinski has ideas based on celebrity weddings that you could pattern your big day after. So let's get started with maybe Christy Teigen and John Legend in Lake Como. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Well, Lake Como, first of all, Chrissy and John are one of my favorite celeb couples. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the thing I love the most is that they chose one of my top wedding destinations, mm -hmm. Lake Como, for their own wedding. So they did their wedding at Villa Pizzo, and we figured out a way to do a wedding there for 40K, approximately what your average hometown wedding is going to cost, what? at Villa Marchese. Oh my gosh, now, we're taking a look at that now. It looks absolutely stunning. It is yeah. stunning. So I adore Lake Como, and this is why. Number one, it is this picturesque des destination, mm -hmm. Alpine Lake with lots of palazzos and villas along the water. Mm. And the best thing of all, it's only an hour from a major airport, Perfect. Milan so you can get your guests there easily. And then Villa Marchese, it is phenomenal. So you can do your wedding for 40K there, mm -hmm. have 20 guests stay for an entire week. What? There's a couple nearby boutique hotels where your other guests can walk. And Perfect. it's so convenient. Even got a little Riva boat, the typical wooden boat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can have your grand exit as bride and groom after the wedding. Wow. Can't beat it. And the same price as your own hometown wedding. So now let's move on to Sophie Turner and Joe Jonas in Provence, France. Yes. That seems fitting for a Jonas brother. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, it was my favorite wedding of the recent okay. Jonas weddings. Okay. And, um, you know, after they did the elopement in Vegas, they really needed to do it upright. So they chose Chateau de Tourau mm. in Provence, which is this phenomenal 18th century palace chateau. And you can actually do it affordably if you do it in the shoulder season. Mm -hmm. So we're talking April, May, October. Okay. Those seasons, it's about 40% less than the rest of the year. Mm -hmm. Yet the weather's still perfect. Good weather for a little bit of daytime activities, maybe some wine tasting nearby, and a lovely evening event. Now the other way to offset the pricing is that 28 of your guests can stay there. It's okay. about 175 a night per person. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not I know. Bad. To yes. stay in this amazing chateau. In France. Exactly. And then you'll have plenty of money left in your budget for all the other decor and Sightseeing. details. Sightseeing. Oh my gosh. That's yep. I'm getting excited. I'm excited, too. We're not getting married. All right, now, exactly. let's talk about uh, Malin Ackerman and Jack Donnelly, Tulum, okay. Mexico. So, you know, not everyone wants to get married in a palace. Some of you are more into that, rom that rustic, bohemian look, mm -hmm. you know, barefoot in the sand. And that's exactly what Malin yeah. Ackerman and Jack Donnelly did. Mm -hmm. They got married at Papaya Playa Playa, Papaya Playa Project. That's in a tough one. That's <laughs> I know. <laughs> Three Ps. And Papaya Playa has this amazing thatch roof beachfront okay. front cathedral that is just breathtaking. It's a little bit pricey just because Tulum as a destination is pretty premium. Okay. Now we brought another option as well called Ahau Tulum, mm -hmm. which gives you that same rustic vibe for about 30% less. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Love that. The options do abound, but we got to talk about, you know, a pop star and a major athlete here. That's right. Sierra and Russell Wilson in England. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you know what I love? Even though they're celebs, they didn't have to drop a mint to have a, <laughs> an amazing castle destination wedding. And you know, look at that. This. Oh my they goodness. had a spectacular fairy tale wedding at oh Peckford and Castle in Cheshire, England. And this venue is actually really affordable. It's going to run you their event packages. They're all bespoke, but they're about the same on par as your average four or five star hotel in the States. Okay. Rooms are only two fifty a night. Not and bad. it is a phenomenal setting. Mm -hmm. Yes, to stay in a historic, literally, castle. We just saw the aerial views, but we've got one more. We do. Adam Levine and Bahati Prinsloo in Mexico as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, and so they actually chose one of the most popular wedding venues in Los Cabos, mm -hmm. which is called Flora Farms. It's mm -hmm. this great organic farm-to-table restaurant and garden oh, setting. That. It's so cute. It's always booking out far in advance with the destination couples. Mm -hmm. And celebs love for the overnight stay, mm -hmm. the area of Palmilla. And why is that? Because it's anchored by the very luxurious mm -hmm. one and only resort, but it also boasts gorgeous oceanfront luxury villas, so you can really live it up like a rock wow. star. And wow. you so, can be a rock star now with oh, all of these tips mm -hmm. and tricks. Totally. You your dreams. But you totally. don't have to pay for it like a rock star. Thank yes. you so very much, Amy. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate your time.